Hey guys, Dandy Dan here, and I'm here in Rev 9. We're in a draw or die scenario here. I don't know if any, oh, a couple people have hits left, so we'll probably get it. But I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get it. I'm running Dawn Witches. Uh, let me look at this base. I only get one shot, so. Do I need more funneling or no? Um, what do I have in here? Four quakes and a jump. Honestly, I don't think I need more funneling. I think I'm okay. Um, all right. So what I do need is to make sure everything looks copacetic. And it does. And then we're going to hit attack. And then I'm going to boost everything because... I gotta do my second war hit after this also. I actually have more wizards than I thought, so that's cool. So I think I'm gonna throw a jump spell right there. Throw down these golems. Uh throw down a couple wizards over here to get this funnel down. And we'll throw Oh wow. Well, I'll put the queen behind that golem to make some use of it. I want to send everybody else this way behind this other golem. And we're going to see where this goes. Let's get into the base here. See a lot of dead things there. That's not good. Why don't we use the jump spell? So now I'm going to have to improvise with the quake. I was hoping this was going to go I did not want that to happen there. Dude. This is not so good. Where's my queen? Alright, well. We'll put the freeze on that expo. And Oh, man. I had to use the arrow at a non-opportune time. I'm going to make... Some of these witches invisible in this area in the hopes that they get the jump on some of these wizard towers. There we go. It could still happen, but it's been an ugly raid. And I would say in Brev 9, you know, Old Town L9 clan, these tie wars come up a lot. Even if I don't get this, we're going to get the tie. But it looks like I'm going to get it. Um, so there you go. Fail or tie. We did it. Okay. Um, but these type of wars happen a lot. I'm going to go ahead and do the second war attack. Uh, reinforce. We're just going to throw some troops in there. Um, Alright, let's... Pick a target. What's, what about number one? What does that look like? Okay, so I'll just come from the town hall side here. See what happens. Everything's still back, so that's terrific. Um, here we go. Throw a couple witches down. I don't know why that golem's going so wide when there's a... Op oh, it's because of this damn mortar over there through my okay he's going to be the new golem and then we're just going to fire right through that into the base we get a good arrow this time we're going to throw down all these witches and then we're going to open up the inside of the base here with these quakes we'll have everybody go through the existing hole and then drop down a rage right about there and then I guess I'll throw this jump over there because we got to be able to get into those back compartments of the base with ease. We've also got the king. Um, I'll go ahead and pop his ability there and open up the back a little bit more. And then what's over here? All right, so by this whiz tower, we want to take that out, so I'll put the freeze on it. There we go. Now we just got a back mortar. And we're going to make this stuff invisible while it breaks through the wall so it's not taking a beating by that mortar. And then we 
we should be good to go for another three star here. When everything's maxed, it's a little easier to three star Town Hall 9. When I run it without the potions, sometimes there's a fail. But uh, there you have it. Alright guys, so looks like oh wow, there's a Tesla way down there. Good thing there's time. Everybody's going for a jog. Alright. Plenty of troops left. And that's going to be a wrap for the and yet another Thai war in Rev 9. If you do have a Town Hall 9 that you like to be at 9, consider joining Revolution 9. Take care.